So what we're trying to do is design a system similar to the tint in your car's windshield that'll protect the pilot's eyes from uh, laser light that's going to be shown on them from the ground that could otherwise cause a great hazard to them and their passengers uh, while they're flying. It could even result in a crash. It's doing this by capturing the laser light within our film and keeping it in our film instead of allowing that light to pass through and hit the pilot's eyes. This is the testing setup we use. It's, the, it's devised on the three-point axis system. These knobs allow us to move it left and right, top, top to bottom, and uh, back and forward. I developed this stage to allow five th different types of lasers. I moved a detector along this axis here, and I could tell where the laser's going. It allows me to capture better data. So you can see the beam on the wall, and right now our laser is going through the windshield the aviation department handed us. So we're going to put it through the first film in just a second. Right there, the beam is scattered and the intensity goes down. So if you, you can imagine if you're a pilot flying a plane, this would be a lot less distracting than a, than a green laser beam just going straight at you. So this is a really low concentration of our film, so let's see how far we can push it. Uh, we're going to put it through the windshield first, so let's do that. And you can see how it's really intense once again. So we're going to go through the next more concentrated sample and move up. And the scattering is a little bit stronger. It's not as strong as we'd like. There we go. And that, one, that one's a little better. So that's, that's where it starts getting really good. So you can see that this is probably a lot more preferable option if someone's pointing a laser pointer at you. And then we can go to the most concentrated sample that's on this windshield right now and kind of see where that gets us. And I think that that right there um, is pretty good example of what we intend for our film to do right there. So I think my favorite part about this project is that we're able to take a bunch of different concepts from physics with optics and chemistry with our reactions and combine them all into one process that's never really been done as one complete system before.